Welcome to Ecstatic Yoga, Yin Asana Practice. I am Grace. I'm so glad you're here. This Yin Practice, we're going to be working on some down dogs. We'll be resting in postures a little longer than normal, and we will be moving a little slower than normal because the intention of the yin classes is going within, connecting with the inner aliveness, the inner atman, inner teacher, the god of our understanding, that soul power, whatever it is for you, that is the intention, is to go deeper and more intimately connected to the inner being within us, the inner aliveness, the consciousness, the pure conscious awareness. So we are going to sit in a nice, comfortable permit position. You can have a cushion under, feel those sits bones rooted into the ground or the cushion. Sitting up with the spine erect, but allowing that natural curvature of the spine. And taking this moment now to enter into breath awareness. Just noticing your breath. And I invite you as you enter into breath awareness is to bring that breath, breath down to the lower abdomen. Just like if you were to fill up a container of water, it would come in through the mouth, through went and drop right down to the bottom. So let that breath come into that lower belly, just below the belly button. So we can trigger that relaxation response within our body. All the awareness to the breath. Breathing in the belly. And if thinking occurs, simply label it thinking and come back to the breath. So that you can bask. In present moment awareness. Just pausing for a moment in the breath. Nothing to do, nowhere to go, nothing to figure out. Just simply being aware. Aware of the breath. And basking in that flow. We've already arrived. Nowhere to go. Just be here now. Follow the breath. Thinking arises, label it thinking and go back into the breath, into the basking into the presence, into the self. And take this moment now to set an intention for your practice. Or for this week, or maybe for a lifetime. Whatever you choose, set an intention that is inspiring to you. And take this moment to scan the body, inside the body, noticing sensations, emotions, vibrations. Not labeling it anything or titling it, just feeling into it, noticing. Not judging it, just noticing. 
fully present to whatever we notice. Awareness on the breath. Noticing your emptiness, stillness, silence. Rooted in this part of ourself that doesn't move. Beginning now to make some small circles, pelvic grinds, allowing the head to move with it, gentle rolling of the neck, and going both directions just spontaneously, warming up the body, opening up the body. There may be a spot that feels so good. You may want to hang out there for a second or two or move real slowly. Follow your own body. Keep the breath flowing. And coming up to seated position. And we're going to take the right hand, put it on the left knee. Left hand behind us. Just go into a nice little gentle twist. And you can inhale as you elongate the spine. And exhale, twisting to the behind. And we'll go to the other side, left hand on the right knee, right hand back, and twist. Inhale, elongating, and exhaling, twisting back. And releasing back. Beautiful job. And then we're going to begin, <clears throat> we're going to do a little forward hinge. So bringing the feet together in our butterfly or bound angle. Take this cushion away here. <clears throat> I'm beginning to hinge forward. And when we get to that spot where we can't hinge any further, just bringing the arms out in front. And resting in this pose. Forward folds invite inward reflection, inward contemplation. So taking this, the energy of this pose, and going deeply within. Keeping the breath flowing and then gently coming up. Beautiful job. We're going to come into our cat cow, flexing and extending the spine. So we're in a tabletop position here, and we got the hands underneath the shoulders, and the knees are right underneath the hips. 
And we're going to go into our cow as we stick that tailbone out. Drop belly, allow the back to arch and the head to come up. Shoulders open. Inhaling into cow and exhaling into cat. Tucking that tailbone under, rounding that back like a helming cat, dropping the head. Exhale. Inhale into our cow. And moving back and forth now at your own pace, your own rhythm, keeping the breath flowing, noticing how this feels in your body, noticing sensation. Bring all your attention into the body, physical and energetic sensations. Bask in that nectar. And I invite you now to make any spontaneous movements as you move back and forth into cat-cow. In the breath flowing. Nice slow movements, honoring your body. And coming back to center, beautiful job. And we're gonna move now into a downward facing dog. So we're gonna curl those toes under. Actually, let's come into a, a child's posture for a moment. Coming into child's pose and going into a little yin time, we're gonna open the knees up, let the belly rest in between the knees, bringing the hands alongside us, or we can reach them out in front of us, whichever feels better for you. And bask in your child's pose. Go within. And gently and kindly coming up. We are going to move into our down dog now. So we're going to curl those toes under. Push into the hands. Lift those knees up. Lift the hips up. Into a downward facing dog. And the heels can be coming down towards the floor. Tailbone is up. Thighs are back. Arms are engaged. Slight inward rotation. And... Engage those bondages and breathe here. Beautiful job. And we're going to take that right leg and we're going to kick it up. Beautiful job. We're going to bring that knee in. And we're going to kick it back up. We're going to bend that knee. And we're going to open up. for that nice stretch in the hips and the pelvis. And breathe. Coming back to center. And making some circles. Remembering with... Yoga, we can come into child's pose or savasana or easy 
seated pose, whenever we want, other direction with our circles. We're not about forcing or striving, but we're going to be pushing ourselves just a little bit. And bringing that leg back up. And we're going to come forward, bending that knee, coming into a pigeon. And we're going to rest down, all the way down into our pigeon. And we're going to rest here in pigeon, arms in front. And coming up, and bringing that leg back, and back into our table, and into our child's pose. Opening up the knees, and let's rest. Go within. And coming up to the table, and we're going to move into a down dog again. So let's curl those toes under, pushing into the hands, coming all the way up in a nice down dog. Heels coming towards the floor, tailbone is up, thighs are back, shoulders engaged, nice, gentle, slight, inward, twisted. From the hands and arms and breathe. Beautiful job. We're going to take that left leg and we're going to kick it out behind us. We're going to bring that knee in, back out behind us. We're going to open up that hip. Come back to center. We're going to do some circles. Going the other direction. And then bring in that left leg up, three-legged dog, and we're going to bring that leg in into our pigeon. And sometimes we're with this yin yoga, we have options. We can have the leg straight underneath, and then we can fan it out. So some people very easily can have their front leg 90 degrees in front of the mat. I cannot do that. But find the position for you that feels comfortable. And we're going to hinge forward into our pigeon, finding that edge, not forcing. That place we can be challenging ourselves just a little bit and breathe. Go inside, notice sensations. And then bring those hands to the mat, coming back into table pose. And let's go back into child's and rest in child posture. We're 
Breathing into the belly still. All the awareness in towards the self. And gently, kindly coming up. And let's bring those feet out in front of us. We go into a little forward fold again. Nice yin posture. So extending that left leg out. And we're going to bring the right leg in. Right leg is resting on the inner thigh. The left leg. Inhaling, extending, elongating the spine. Exhale, hinging forward at that hip and go down wherever it is for you where you feel that edge and let's sit here for a moment on that edge and breathe fully embodied all your energy in the body and sensation. Fully here now in the body. See if you can hinge a little deeper. Allow that spine to round you. You're able to reach your feet and a little massage. Massage your foot with great love. And gently and kindly coming up. And switching legs. Beautiful job. Inhaling, elongating the spine. Exhaling, hinging forward. Finding that edge and just resting in it for a few breaths. See if you can hinge a little deeper and then allow the spine to round. You can massage your feet. Do that with love. Going in. And gently kind of coming up. Bring both those legs out in front of us and shake them out a little bit. Beautiful. We'll come to the front of the mat, we're going to go into some spinal rocks.
and coming down to ah, nice position with the knees up and we're gonna move into some releases so begin to just hula those hips the right hip comes up towards the right armpit the left hip is going down towards the left heel and everything is flat on the mat sacrum not lifting off the earth or swiveling find your pace And they stop at certain spots. Enjoy the sensations. We're going to move into cat cow. Flexion and extension. Cat, you'll feel the small of the back pressing into the floor, tailbone tucked under. Cow. The back, small, the back arches off the floor. Tailbone is sticking out. Back and forth. Keeping the breath flowing. The attention on the body. And sensation. And you can begin to come back to neutral. Move into some hip pointers. Lifting one point, hip at a time, pointing up towards the sky. Breathe. And coming back to neutral. Beautiful job. Let's bring those knees into the chest. Rock a little bit. Bring those hands onto the feet and bring us pressing the feet down, knees into the armpits for a happy baby. And then rocking back and forth. Pressing down. And then just spontaneous happy baby. Taking around, moving around. This is going to... And then taking your time to... Move in any way you may need to move before Savasana. Maybe there was a pose you really wanted to feel or experience we didn't get to. Or maybe you want to just start getting ready for Savasana. Or continue with Happy Baby for a little bit. The invitation is to really take care of yourself. Your Savasana. If you have an eye pillow or a blanket, maybe something for under your knees. So that we can be comfortable for relaxation. Coming so you're flat on your back. Hopefully your knees are supported, or you can have your knees up with your feet in a wide stance. I often like that posture as well. 
and resting in, making any last adjustments to your body. And we're going to begin to do our chi exercise, feeling those hips in. Ula, and begin to speed it up a little. And settling down and entering into stillness. Gently and kindly coming back, beginning to bring your awareness to your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe stretch out your arms and legs. And when you're ready, coming over to your side in a fetal position. And just rest here for a moment, noticing sensations. Rest with yourself, rest in your heart. And gently and kindly coming up to a seated position.
taking this moment now to rescan the body. Bring your awareness back to the intention you set at the beginning of practice. We will conclude with a short chant and a namaste. Onte a te, onte a te, he a he a, onte a te, a te he. Onte a te, onte he a he a, onte a te, onte he. Onte a te, onte he a he a, onte a te, onte he. Onte a te, onte he a. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, light, truth, and peace. When I am in that place in me and you are in that place in you, we are one. Namaste. Thank you for joining us for Ecstatic Yoga Yin Asana. I am Grace. You can go to ecstaticyoga.studio to learn more about our yoga teacher trainings and retreats. Wishing you a most beautiful and blessed day.